right, we're recording now, and uh, this is Kieran Highland from Ireland. Kieran Highland from Ireland. Yes, uh, <laughs> thank you for uh, taking the offer to be interviewed here. Um, let me just start out. Let me start out saying I don't even remember quite how I found you. Maybe I was just mm -hmm. somehow I searched something on YouTube and I found this amazing video, this documentary of you by yes. uh, uh, Mr. Kennedy, I think. And uh, John, yeah. Yeah. And uh, it struck me like, man, this guy's a brand new painter, but he has so much passion and he's so excited <laughs> about his art and he has a story oh. to tell. And, uh, yeah. It's, oh, it's, it's addictive to listen to you talk about your art. So I, I wanted to reach out <laughs> to you. Uh, and hear more about it. So, right. thank you. And you, Let's go. So, you live in Laulis, Ireland. Right? <laughs> How do you no, Le, it's pronounced Leash, as in dog leash. L e e s h. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Leash. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Leash. Yeah. Ah, so it's an Irish. It's, it's a Gaelic name. Like it's it's Irish. And it's kind of in yeah. the center of Ireland. I've never been to Ireland, but. Um, no, it's right, right bang in the middle now, yeah. So it's great. Yeah. It's, it's, it's ideal. It's a great, like, I, I, I've lived all over the world, Todd, and, like, um, came came from a very small village. Like, you're talking hundreds of people at the time when, when I grew up there. And it's hilarious. When you go away and you spend time away, you realise how unreal what you have is. And, like, especially especially for somebody like me that loves to travel and is very spontaneous as well. Like, like I could wake up in the morning and be gone to the edge and just go for a swim in the sea. Like yeah, I'm only yeah. two hours. I, I'm, I'm one hour from the coast of Dublin and I'm two and maybe a bit hours from the West coast, completely different terrain, different people, different language, completely yeah. different scene. And I'm three, maybe three and a half, four hours to the very South uh, West, maybe in Cork. And isn't it? Yeah. And, it's, and then of course, Two hours to Belfast. If you look Northern Ireland, a whole different ball game up there. So it's great to be in the middle. Well, <laughs> I grew up in a very a small town in Kansas, so I can relate the small oh, town. And I, yeah. I haven't I haven't lived in California forever. Just maybe I don't know about ten years. But um, so so anyway, I want to go back. That video was amazing, in in, in that oh, yeah. you express what's on your mind and just the passion you have for creating art. So I recommend anybody like search Kieran Highland documentary and watch that video. It's really yeah, amazing. thanks very much. And um, you know what, John? It's funny. John will be delighted with that because he he was his own. He was kind of like in in the start of lockdown. He was working through all the big shots, kind of. Um, companies here in Ireland like our national broadcaster and stuff and he would be working on TV shows and he was miserable he's mm. so talented and he was like you know what never mind this I, I have a chance now to do my own thing and he has the time at home and he's working at home and he reached out to me and said look I'm doing my own crack he did a video before years ago of another artist and he said I, I want to do this again like can I come up to you and no different to you he just searched artists I, I don't know on social media yeah. somewhere, and I, yeah. I popped up and he said I even go to video him and that was how that started Just that's great some certain hashtags or something yeah it's crazy. yeah that's what I find interesting people that are pursuing a passion like diligently like really going after it so um yeah. and then I noticed as I started following you on Instagram I noticed a couple things one is that uh well, I can Google your name and you've you've already you've been painting, I think, for less than a year, but you're already at least on about three hours of podcasts in Ireland. So yeah. <laughs> here. Yeah. and so I'm here to I don't know. It's spread I don't the know word. To, yeah, I don't know what to make with either. Like, but again, when you when you find something that is your truth, it becomes so easy to because I was always very funny with social media, like I would post like the odd thing and then maybe a dinner or a picture of my cat or that I was playing sport but I never really got the if for me social media was about like I was losing connection with it because I was like what is this but when you're you, good at it when you kind of I yeah but when you, you become videos when, and, and, and interviews I mean uh yeah but this is the thing Tom when it become when you find something that is your truth and is all you uh, like and you, you 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 just all you want to talk about and all you want to do is what you're posting about then it becomes easy and yeah. you realize that these are actually powerful tools to connect with other yeah. like-minded like not like not just like-minded artists but people that have no interest in art like i even i know there's no art in my house mm. like i see behind you there there's art behind you and they're beautiful and like they're, they're probably they're yours i'd say are they like they're amazing pieces they're mine yeah. but i don't have any I, I have nothing hanging in here 
and like, but you, I only had an, a conversation with a woman the other day, and I like I hope she didn't take. Well, I said it to her. Please don't take offense, because I posted a painting to her, and because she wanted it, and I said, look, you can have it, and she offered to send me one, and I was like, no, I have no interest. I don't want any of your art. But oh, it really? wasn't because <laughs> it wasn't because I didn't like it. It was because I don't I don't have art hanging up here, God. Like I. So I you don't want to be a stuff. collector. You you, oh, you no, want you no. want to create, but not collect. Absolutely, I want to create, get out into the world, and look, this is this is bringing a bit of energy and a bit of life and a bit okay. of passion and a bit of kind of chaos into your life. But get it okay. out, get it away from me. <laughs> I can respect that 100%. And um, yeah. I would like to, at this point, like share your Instagram page, if that's all right. And then we can keep oh. talking. Yeah? All right. All right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, let me see if I can do that here. And uh, let's let's have a look at your uh, Instagram page. Um, right. And yeah, I, I see that you're you're socially social media savvy you know you're you're posting ah, a lot of videos so, you're talking so about who is like is it, all well, it is is pictures paintings well you have videos right and you're talking about what should what how you came up with the name of the painting and yeah such. and you've got your smiling yeah. face on a bunch of them so um big mad head there yeah jumping around going mad over so so these are great. Um, I don't know what to call this. Like, like we would call this impression, abstract expressionism. Where, um, yeah. Well, I would definitely but, call myself an expressionist painter. Yeah. One hundred percent, I would. Yeah, it has to be Todd. You look at it. Yep. Look at that. That cannot be. That's nothing else. Like, it's obviously it's fire and it's ice and it's chaos. But like, that's not what I was aiming with the painting. I, there's no aim to any of these when I started. It's just go, go with what's in. Go yep. inside, pull out what you're feeling and pull out what you're, you know, pull out, you know, the thoughts of the day or, or the thoughts of the future. Pull it all out and get it onto the page. That day it was red and yellow and orange and blue and white. That's just the way it goes. So you start with you know? maybe pulling out a certain colors that you're interested in, putting on a canvas and not really planning it, but. Just... No, well, they're all, all the colors are in front of me here, Todd. They're all spread out in front of me. So I just look and I. One will I'll connect with one at that particular moment, and then I'll rock and roll, and <laughs> I'll start dancing around with it. Uh, yeah. Great. So the uh, theory of abstract expressionism is that, uh, yeah, it's it's your it's somehow your sort of the your subconscious mind is sort of coming out. You know, it, your yeah. feelings yeah. are coming out somehow, and that's I think that's I love abstract expressionism in that sense of trying to turn off your, you know, your control over the painting and just sort of letting. Yes. And yeah. that's how I, but that's how, this is the other funny thing Todd about me, that's how I try to live. I just try and take, take the thoughts out of there. It, it's not, it doesn't always, it might get me into a few sticky situations, but you're so what? Mm -hmm. that's, that's just what happens. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I don't know, how, like, yeah, like, I'm happy with that, fair enough. But, what, what was um, the, uh, I've, I've listened to some of your podcasts and I've heard that, um, uh, you know, you've gone through some difficult times, as we all do. Um, and at a certain point, it sounds like you just said enough of that. And and you mm. you made like what what happened to make you do an art piece the very first time? Oh, do you know what? Actually, I was only talking about this the other day and yesterday. It's funny, like I have said in those podcasts, and and there is truth in that that it's. It was like the, the creativity and all that came from my, my dad and he's a musician and he's oh, yeah. like, you know, so it all came from him. It, so it was in me, but like in terms of in April, when I picked up the crayons and when I went to the shop, I'll tell you exactly what sparked that for me now was, um, so I don't know if you know the mighty Bush or if you know what that TV series is, or if you've heard of Noah Fielding, but he's a very famous stand-up comedian and actor kind of comedic actor here and um, well across the pond in the UK and during the lockdown he obviously wasn't working he, there's no stand-up comedy so he would do these on Saturday mornings he would set up these Noel's art clubs and he would basically get people to make a painting and put a hashtag Noel's art club and then he would reshare the, the piece and he would pick a winner and it was just a, a, a bit of crack every Saturday fair enough and so I, I've, I've been following him for years. He's one of my favorite people in the world. Like, he's just wild, wild. And I'm kind of, I'm tapping into a lot of stuff that I was inspired by him. I'm doing that now as well. But, but anyway, I just seen him one day and 
every Saturday during the lockdown, well, the early lockdown, because we were locked down um, the week of St. Patrick's Day. So there was about a month there where I was like, oh, I don't know. Like, I was coaching rugby, Todd, and I was really, really busy. Like, I was out every evening, and I had a lot of responsibilities. Um, I was playing and coaching and trying to do the comedy and bit music as well. And it was just nonstop. And then mm-hmm. when the lockdown happened, I was like, well, what, what, where, where will I go now? Because we can't do gigs. I can't get up on stage. There's no, I'm, I'm not around the players. Uh, I have nowhere to go. So I basically, like what you heard in those podcasts, I went back into the journals. And I was like, what else was on the list of things to do? Creative, creative, creative wise. And it was painting and doodling and stuff. And I was like, oh, happy days. And then Noah's Art Club was happening. That was happening coinciding on the Saturday. So like I'd be at home on Saturday, just like I'd go for a run and I'd play a bit of guitar and I'd be like, well, what do I do? And I would watch the pictures that were coming in. And I'd be like, that's great crack. Sure, I'll just, I'll just see what happens here. Now, I never kind of engaged with the Noah's Art Club, but that kind of pushed me to the edge of, yeah, the paintings were in the journals. That was part of what you're supposed to do. And, um, you know, these people are getting really creative over the lockdown. So you kind of start getting into it now. And yeah, and that was it. I walked out to the shop and around that time, I kind of fell into a, a, a DJ guy, a real, he's an unbelievable kind of music producer from Holland. His mm-hmm. name's Steve. And I was like going on a rabbit hole of listening to his music, like deep, deep into the rabbit hole. Now this guy isn't big either. He's big in Europe, obviously, yeah. but he, I, I was like, oh my God, like, so that was kind of, his music was buried into my subconscious, so when I was going to get the crayons, I was like, what am I going to do here, I don't know what to do, and I was thinking Apple, like, I was thinking everything, What? and that's what, it was so overwhelming, that I didn't know what to do, so I got the wax crayons, and I opened up the, the refill pad that I bought for literally four euro, I thought it was all the coffee, what's that, I don't know, five dollars, like, you know, it, it's it, it's school by stuff, and I was like, right, I'm, all this music is in here. It closed my eyes, and I was like, right, I'll try and do this. And I just drew these little symbols, and like one big symbol at the top of the page. I was like, well, that's him. He's there. He's leading the kind of the crowd, and all the other little dots. I turned them into triangles and gave them little arms. And like, you should see this thing. Like, well, you could probably pull it up or whatever, or people can go to my Instagram and see it. It's the very first crayon drawing I did, and it's called Twins and a Steve gig. And it's hilarious because it's, I don't know even how to, this, like, it's it's just, it, it, it's colourful wax crayons and it doesn't even, there's no perspective and there's no, it's just literally doodle on a page. Like, you won't have to go far. Like, it's not, it's not I, that long ago. Well, I, yeah, but I, almost, I once tried to go down to the bottom of your Instagram, but you post so, <laughs> put so much out yeah, there. But, is, but yeah, okay. but that was... The, that was it. That was the first one, oh. and that was I was a like, right. It is it now, and uh, and that was it. Thought I doodled with the crayons for I'd say a good two and a half, three months. I kind of phased out the crayons, went into markers and stuff after the two and a half, three months. Oh, there you're getting into the crayons. Yeah, there you go. That's it. See oh. beside the telly, Toby's picture. See, now you're back into my kind of personal stuff. So oh, that's right. kind of, uh, <laughs> okay. But that's all I was posting, not really knowing oh, this one right what here. to do. That's it. That's the first one, Twins and Steel Gig. Oh, this is crazy to see that. And there's the Twins, look, at the front. Like, they just happen to be the same. They're the same colour. Like, I didn't, that wasn't yeah. on purpose. And like what I do with all the paintings, I do it to this fucking day, Todd. Like, so this was the start of it all. Them. This was the that start was of it, it all. Yeah. yeah. You, uh, you had this music he, in your in your head and you wanted to that's the power of music right you had this music in your yeah. head and, and did you submit this to that contest you were talking about no 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 i, I stopped kind of looking at that because um i just like you know when you kind of see something then you like if you read a book or you hear a quote and you take from it and you go right now i want to implement that now that's kind of how i read books and kind of look at stuff like no yeah. kind of gave me the push but after that i never looked at it ever again Okay. Because I was like, I'm going to do this now. And, well, and then, of course, it clicked. I scratched it off the journal and that was it. I, I didn't look back. And, I, you know. well, I'm glad you, and then I'm you glad can you, see. I'm glad I, you posted I kind of, it. You've, you've oh, posted yeah. it and that's your evolution. That's your start. That's yeah. Your story. But you're talking, this is the other thing with posts and people always say like, oh, don't take this the wrong way. But like, people are worried about offending me. And I'm like, for sure, 
you won't offend me. Like, I love all them in their own way. I don't care if somebody doesn't like them or, or, or it offends somebody. That's just the expression. How can you, why yeah. you take offense to something? That's just, it's yours. It's your own creation. You should be proud of it. Yeah. Look, look, I'm wearing, so, I'm wearing blindfolds here, Todd. Like, you know, that's <laughs> where, that was the click of go in to go inside. Into so this the subconscious is, and into the darkness. Because, yeah. This is great. You can just, like, start at that point and see the whole evolution yeah. of your art. You so can that's see. Cool. And you can also see post blindfold creations. I'm coming out of the abstract facials kind of um, musical kind of stuff. And a lot of you can see with that highlighter one, they're starting to become just pure, random and chaotic. And kind of the faces are starting to turn more um, yeah, loose yeah. And all over the shop. And then, then, you, and, and, then, then I, and then that's the first painting, the 13 days eating pine cones. That's the first painting, and then they go all over the place. Then after that, that's literally the timeline. You know, it remember the name? Yeah, that's great. I mean, yeah. I really actually, actually, I I like that painting. That's interesting. <laughs> um, Three days, so, yeah. For sure, again, okay. doesn't matter. I guess you're. I'd like to change yeah. gears a little bit here, and I want to show you something and get your feedback. I want, I want to okay. see, oh, I want to see what you think. Okay, so do you know who this is? Do you know much oh, about? That... Okay. Okay, this is this is the guy, this is Gerhard Richter. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, so famous artist. He used these uh, what do you call them, spatulas and squeegees, to spread oh, yeah. paint across the canvas. And they say, you know, it looks a little bit mechanical, and that's what he was trying to achieve. That um, I, I read this re review. It said that it's kind of like the, the the tremors in the earth have come forward, like an earthquake, and and wow. spewed all over the canvas. And so mm -hmm. now look at these. So what does that do in your mind? What what what's your impression? Oh, that is in the in the one on the left. I see pain. I see pain and kind of tension, mm. and I see I see angst, like some something's trying to get out of someone. Really? That's what I see in that. Yeah, yeah. That's what I see there in that. Yeah, yeah. Scratch. What do you see on the right. Oh no! Yeah, on the with the blue, the one on the left with the blue. Yeah. What do you see on the right? Uh, and then on the right, I see a pelican coming up from the ground, and he's <laughs> he's angry, an angry pelican rising from the side underneath the earth, and on okay. top of that side <laughs> is a two a huge a huge oak tree on the left, the black one, and a kind of a well, it's not a silver birch, but maybe. A, couple, a few, a bunch of silver birch trees, and they're just getting ripped up from the ground, and it's, yeah, it's not going to be good for whatever, whatever <laughs> uh, community is so, close to that. <laughs> okay, so the reason I wanted to show you this is just to, oh god, and let me show you another one. I just, I just wanted to, uh, I wanted to see how you react to it because, and it's so interesting to me that your first impression is to, uh, to sort of interpret what it is and explain it. Oh in, yeah, like in to me. One, in to that me, one, no, I, I see. Oh, sorry, go on. Oh, sorry. I was just going to say for, in, you know, what I see when I saw it was like, oh, I'm just thinking about the technique. Oh, man, that's so cool. The way that he scrapes off some of it and then how it smears elsewhere. And and I, I guess mm. I was just, okay, so I was going to, I wanted to show you this to sort of get your thoughts on, uh, you know, <laughs> where do you go next? What's your next step in your art? Are you, you know, you could do something like this. You, there's you, there's hundreds of other different techniques. Do you do you see yeah. an evolution right now, or is it just you know every day, every day you you'll just keep going? Oh, Todd, sure. Every day, every day is an evolution. Every single day, like I don't know. Like I have there's the oaks laying around. Like I have a garden, a garden trowel, and like even I'm doing a painting now for a local band and like he was probably thinking i love all your stuff and yeah we're thinking of going no he basically came to me with what he wanted for a new single and he's like yeah happy days i'll do that but like he doesn't know what's going to happen you know i don't know like i he, he's kind of giving me a bit of a direction but i don't like is it an album cover me, yeah yeah kind of yeah 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 so, uh, i think single more of a single cover okay, kind of thing. Okay. but something just to just to put up on social media basically but well, that's like, good. He's giving you full creativity. Like oh, he's not yeah. telling and you I what said, to do, how to do it. No, yeah. no, no. I said to him, look, if you're looking for if you're looking for a picture of an old dog there or a few clouds, I'm not your man. You may jog on there and find somebody yeah. else because 
that's not me. I I don't I can't do that. And, yeah. and nor do I want it. And I don't right. need again I I don't need the I don't need the financial reward in mm. being to be in given in to be given a brief for for from a from a band. I don't need that. Yeah. Why why what you know that's not again that's not that's not me. I just go physically can't do that. I feel sick and I feel disgusting when somebody comes to me and goes, Oh, can I have my dog there? Or you know, I had a I had a parrot and it's dead and it talks to me every day. Could you do the I mean, no, I can't do that. <laughs> go find somebody that could literally hashtag parrot artists into Instagram and ask them to do it. You, you're not getting that from me. My pet there's parrots in my bed, but that's just what I see. Well, you that's know, great. Like yeah. you're you're preserving your creativity and your essence and you you know what you're about. So yeah, and of course, because I yeah, because I have a dog and I do my thing and, and and happy days and that and maybe that gives me the power to do that. I don't know, but all I know is I can't I physically can't do that. Like I I, I would yeah. never, I would never ever, especially now in my life and the way I do these, I would never take on a commission and go, oh yeah, lovely, I, oh, I got this commission to do a, a, a beautiful little, uh, family of kittens and if they the family loved them and I, yeah yeah and I'll spend ninety hours learning how to draw kittens all the different shapes but why, who, why would you do that for, for a couple of hundred dollars you know you go away with that why you, you know bother? that i've done that i've done that i've yeah. Oh, yeah. accepted those yeah. commissions and and i've spent so much time on it and i you know i mean i i was glad to do it and learn from it but in the end yeah mm. it kept me away from abstracts which i'm all right i'm all about abstract right now i'm just like yeah yeah i want to do what you're doing like preserve my creativity you know i might yeah. do a few things for folks but i really need to focus my time uh so for sure Todd, you do whatever you enjoy doing you just go full belt whack 100 yeah. percent, and the blinkers are on and never mind anything else and then yeah, you're in that tunnel then, and good luck. And good yeah. luck, your dogs and your parrots and your kittens and <laughs> my, yeah. You know, you might, cause you might see it, especially with your style. Like, you know, you might see that in your paintings, and then that's your version of a kitten. Happy days, but like, don't be taking on the work of a major miserable. Ugh. Well, I know. So I've been I've been uh, studying abstract art for many years, and I know my theory and what I believe is true is mm. that um, if you can come up with a way to show something graphically that hasn't been done before or people look at it and say wow that is unique and, you know i mean okay. it's common it's common sense but even if it's ugly even if it's they don't want to hang it on their wall but if you can sort of come up with a new way of doing something a new technique or a new way to put those paints together that can just mm. pr propel you up into the you know the gallery stratosphere of being you know rich and and i know you know you, you said that's not really what you're about but but no, but but I am about what you what you just said in terms of trying trying new things. Like yeah. I'm jumping around these in every which way, yeah, creating different yeah. textures and different kind of gestures. And but look, Todd, it's all out there. It's all on Instagram. And look, there's nothing really new. But it's it's it for me. What's new is your storytelling. How how you got to it. Yeah, you can look at videos on YouTube of how to make abstract expressionism. But can you look at videos and and learn how to delve deep into your own stuff, your own subconscious, right. your own feelings, and you know, do your own self psychoanalysis, and then get that onto it. Can you do that? Because that's fucking hard. I'm learning that 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 is really hard to do. Because I've done. It you, is hard. You pull up the you pull up the pictures, Todd. I've done all those faces and all that. And that's great. But when you put that blindfold on, or you close your eyes and you meditate, and you start thinking, it is my behavior now as a result of that experience because of what I did to that person, or because of what that person did to me, or because of what I saw. That's now, that's why I paint this way, you know? That's hard, like, that, yeah. but, this, but this is what I'm realizing, that that's really hard. Maybe that's new, I don't know, but that's what I love, well, you know? I find that, um, like, uh, as you evolve, maybe it, it, you start lying in bed and thinking about art. And sometimes I start, I've been dreaming oh. about abstract, and then, and then you start thinking, like, you're, you, you're not necessarily planning a painting, but you're planning what's the next thing, or what's the, ne the new technique, or, you know, I, and just last week, I, I thought of, oh, this is a great new abstract technique I want to try. I just combine this and this, and I and I wrote it down, and I sent myself an email, so I remember. And uh, so those things, like like the planning portion of it, sort of, you know, it becomes more mm. important rather than just of grabbing course. colors and slapping them down. Like you, you'll do that for a long time, but then eventually, it you know, the planning portion, and it's not, it doesn't have to be uncomfortable. 
it can be like really, uh, you know, it's just a part of the passion, you know. Yeah, of course. Of, yeah, part of, sure. part of the, I, yeah, I completely agree. Like it's it's. But, oh, sure. Even I had the conversation there before dinner with the missus. Like I was like, I'm thinking of doing this and blah blah blah. She's just like, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, great, great. But like, yeah, it ne it never stopped. And that this is the thing why I'm telling why I was saying to you about how I post and why I post every day and I engage with, with my followers and the people that are good enough to follow me because I it, I can't turn it off. I love it. I love talking about colour. I don't know the first thing <laughs> about half of it. I don't know the first thing about half of it. But it doesn't matter. You don't need to. If you're full grown passionate and it's easier yeah. through, you will learn. You pick it up. Because look, like I'm reading books there. Like I'm not a massive reader and especially not about art history. You couldn't give like I kind of dip into it. I fall into it sometimes because of what I read now, I'm reading uh, Artistry of the Mentally Ill by Hans Prinzhorn. And like, this stuff probably is absolutely outrageous. But I feel like I'm reading about myself. Mm. Like, I'm, I'm, reading, I'm reading about these uh, patients with paranoid schizophrenia. I'm, re I'm reading that. In, I mean, that's me. A lot of, of what is written down by these doctors is what is me. And it's what I've drilled up or it's what I pulled out of my own stuff. It's, you know, it's, I, it's fascinating. Not. Yeah, no, I feel the same. I, if, I, if I was running back then, Todd, I would be locked up and the key would be thrown away. But shit, that's what's great. Well, that's the, you know, that's the passion the of uh, Van Gogh, right? I mean, yeah. he was partly so brilliant because he had a lot of problems. And I don't like to say that, but he was, he had a lot of issues. Uh, but and yeah, that, but torment, that torment of his soul, he knew how to harness that and just keep creating. So yeah, Absolutely, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and that's it, and that's where I'm getting. That's where all this is coming from. It's all coming from the darkness and the past and the present and you know, and, and feelings, and and yeah. that's it. Like that's why it's so easy because it's your truth. Somebody, yeah. if if you're getting hate, I've got hate and comments and all that. For sure, it's you know, it 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 cannot affect you when it, what you're posting about is your truth. It literally can't. Mm. Like I'm getting messed up there. You don't even know what you're talking about. You don't know what to You never want to call this. And I'm like, so what? I don't care. You don't need to go to college to go, go down and buy crayons and draw, right. do you? Right, right. Absolutely. I oh, so okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, hey, so I wish you the best and I and I, let's let's oh, stay yeah. in touch and, and maybe I wanna I wanna Absolutely. I wanna follow your evolution as an artist and uh I wish you the oh, best please, success yeah. and uh maybe we'll maybe we could link up and do part two in a year and, and catch up where you're what, what you're doing now so yeah happily yeah. we're still alive please god god knows <laughs> what in the name of god according to watch what's coming meteor or something oh jeez the armageddon again <laughs> oh all right oh. thank you kieran we'll be in touch thank oh, you so much right. all right go on see Bye. you Todd.